Virgo, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the uh, 20th to the 26th of June 2022. No particular subject, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended reading where we'll dive in deeper to uh, whatever comes out. You can watch this for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your sixth house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the uh, continued support, the likes, shares, subscribes, comments. It's the easiest way to support the channel. It makes a world of difference. Sends the algorithms far and wide, spreads the messages. It's very much appreciated. So thank you very much. And the description box is all the information you need. Uh, website link for private reads, Instagram and uh, link for photos of the spread, as well as uh, Patreon and Vimeo for the extended. Cross watches you are more than welcome. So... Virgo. This week we have Venus moving into Gemini, bringing some more socialising, flirtatious behaviour. A little bit more fun, hopefully. Let's see. Ooh. Throw in the first round. Let's see what we got. Two more. The Empress, beautiful. Okay, abundance. This is Venus as well. Um, so yeah, feeling good, um, attracting abundance, tapping into your creative, divine feminine aspects. Um, could be dealing with your mother or a maternal figure in your life. Let's see. Something we're aware of. Something we're not aware of. Okay, recent past advice, potential outcome. Okay, we have the sun. I'm seeing the five of wands. Sun, the two of swords, page of wands, four of swords, death and the queen of cups. There's a five of wands while I was seeing that. Okay, nine of wands and the lovers. Yeah, okay. There could be... This could be you or it could be the person that you're dealing with. Um, I would say possibly be careful how much you flirt with this Venus um, uh, aspect here. Because I kind of see someone getting really jealous. Really jealous. Okay, so we've got the Empress. What we're aware of is the Hierophant. Both cards ruled by Venus. Um, so it's very much a focus on Venus, and we were just talking about it. Um, what we're not aware of is the Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands is somebody who comes in very uh, uh, confident, very... It's an energy that doesn't stick around. But it's fun, it's vibrant, it's flirtatious. Um, especially with the sun uh, out, you know, especially if it's um, positive uh, energy in the weather, um, people getting out, people getting excited, people possibly overindulging. In the recent past, we have the Ace of Wands. So I kind of feel like there's been... Um, a... A certain excitement, certain flirtatious, especially if there's a Knight of Wands energy involved, he's carrying that Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is that spark, it's that creativity, it's that passion, it's the phallic symbol. Um, for some of you, you could be a 
announcing a pregnancy or someone could be telling you about a pregnancy that's going to be very very shocking for you your um, uh, advice is the three of cups so for me the three of cups is advising to you know the third house concept here with um, uh, venus going into gemini socialize you know get out and about um um, but again, I kind of feel like this is a group of friends and at some, it just feels like somebody's going to get jealous here because uh, the outcome is the tower. So this could be like an explosion of something, um, pent up energy, jealous rage. Um, but it also, I can't ignore the Ace of Wands and the Empress can indicate um, um, pregnancy. The Empress and the Three of Cups can indicate pregnancy. And then this taking somebody in very much by surprise. So, if you're not planning for a children, be careful. Um, it doesn't have to be about you, it could be about hearing about something. Uh, something that's going to take you by surprise. But I kind of feel like whatever it is, it's, you know, it is a happy time, but maybe somebody doesn't see it that way to begin with. Um, could indicate one night stand, I'm not going to uh, rule that out. The nice of ones doesn't tend to stick around. Um, but either way, whatever's coming whether it's pregnancy whether it's jealousy it's a shadow aspect that needs to be um, um, dealt with because if if we're overreacting in any way it's something we need to learn from so Okay, for some of you, it could be your children. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be about pregnancy. I, I don't know, I'm getting a vision here of somebody's grown child turning up at the door with their bags because they've been kicked out for either having an affair or flirting or uh, something like that. So if you do have um, adult children... You know, prepare for that knock on the door because um, <laughs> it may come okay all right um other than that i kind of feel like there's going to be a case of uh, potential arguments and maybe arguments between friends if uh, for example jealousy does happen this could be introducing your partner to friends who then flirt with them and cause arguments there's, there's something here about maybe a get together that was been planned and um, not going to plan it doesn't have to be about jealousy i just feel like there's a there's a, there's a get together that's not going to exactly go to uh, um to plan here this could be a wedding with a hierophant um this could be a proposal that gets not back it, it, it could be so many things, so many things, uh, Virgo. I wish I was being a bit more specific this week, but there's, there's that many messages that's coming. Um, all I would say is, if you are triggered by any sort of thing, behaviour, don't react. Just take a deep breath and, uh, you know, listen without judgment and, uh, and the best possible course of action will come to you. There's been some sort of cost correction. I had a feeling this was coming. Yeah, it's with the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands was in your pre-shuffle, kept on jumping. There's some sort of burdens that are going to be just released from whatever this is. So this could be an argument with maybe a mother, maybe a friend that is brewing. It could be it's something that needs to happen. There's, there's some sort of cost correction that's coming. Um... But towers are always here to to show what foundations aren't solid. You know, towers, yes, they can be upsetting. Towers, yes, they can be... Um, um, they, they tend to come in three strikes as well. I'm just looking at the, um, the waterfall and the empress here. And it's just reminding me of an Indiana Jones film, Three Times It Falls. Um, especially with the Three of Cups here. The Towers, like the universe, first of all, gives you a little nudge. 
And then if you're not listening to that, then it'll give you a shove. And if you haven't listened to that, then the rub comes. So three times it falls. So whatever it is, it, this is long time coming. This could be standing up to a mother figure. This could be standing up to a, a friend who treats you like a mother. Um, it could be standing up to people that um, just are not working in your best interest anymore. Okay. So Virgo, <laughs> whatever this is, good luck. <laughs> um, uh, like I say, there could be arguments, there could be uh, shocks, um, but whatever it is, let's just quickly find the star card. Because after the tower, there's always healing, 16 to 17. These could be the ages of the kids, who knows? Uh, yeah, so we've got the star is wedged between the temperance and the three of swords. So whatever pain is caused, there's reconciliation there's there's an ability to to heal and um and to bring balance to whatever situation this is so yeah prepare for the tower just remember it's all energy so when something like this triggers you think back to this reading and go hang on yeah let's not react right now let's just uh, see what happens because at the end of the day energy cannot be created or destroyed it can only be moved and transmuted and that's that temperance card so all we do is we take that negativity and we just turn it into something positive for ourselves so from negative to positive so in the extended we'll hopefully tap on this a bit more we'll take your energy we'll take the person that you're going to be dealing with and we'll take uh, the energy between you see what the hell's going on and hopefully we'll get to the bottom of it so you could be dealing with or having your chart. We have Libra, we have uh, Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, strong Taurus. Scorpio again, so strong Scorpio, strong Taurus. We have wands, we have cups, we have swords. And that's it. So look after yourselves. Uh, good luck. And uh, if you can join me next, any fantastic. If not, I'll see you next week. Take care.